Herman Cain, a former presidential hopeful who was once considered by President Donald Trump for the Federal Reserve. He has died after being hospitalized with the coronavirus. He was 74 years old. Cain's death was announced Thursday on his website by Dan Calabrese, who addressed the site and has previously written about his colleague's diagnosis. Herman Cain, our boss, our friend, like a father to so many of us, has passed away. Calabrese said in the blog post, we all prayed so hard every day, we knew the time would come when the Lord would call him a home. But we really liked having him here with us, and we held our hope he'd have a full recovery. Ken was among the highest profile public figures in the United States to have died from COVID-19 less than two weeks before receiving his diagnosis. Ken attempted Trump's campaign rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which had been staged despite concerns about mass gatherings during the pandemic. Ken, a stage 4 cancer survivor, tweeted a photograph of himself at Trump's rally showing him surrounded by other attendees, none of whom appeared to be wearing masks or other protective gear. The Trump campaign said that all attendees at the event had their temperatures checked upon entry and their masks and hand sanitizers were handed out but not required to use. The campaign revealed before the event that six members of the team involved in the rally preparations had tested positive for the virus and had been quarantined. Ken had been a business executive and board chairman of a branch of Kansas City Federal Reserve Bank before moving into Republican politics and eventually becoming a presidential candidate. Last year, Trump's briefly considered picking Cain as his nominee to join the Federal Reserve Board. Cain remained a vocal supporter of Trump's after his nomination was withdrawn. Cain had been hospitalized in Atlanta on July 1st, two days after being told he had tested positive for COVID. According to a statement posted to his social media accounts at the time, he did not require a respirator and was awake and alert. When he checked into the hospital, the statement said, Please join with us in praying for Mr. Kane and for everyone who has contracted the virus as well as their families, it said. The July 2nd statement on Kane's hospitalization said, There is no way of knowing for sure how or where Mr. Kane contracted the virus. The Trump campaign said after Kane's diagnosis that he had not met with the president at the Tulsa rally. Cain, the former CEO of the restaurant chain Godfather's Pizza, was no stranger to politics. He became a player in Republican politics as an economic advisor to Bob Dole's 1996 presidential campaign before briefly launching his own bid in 2000. In the 2012 GOP presidential primary session, Cain gained outseized media coverage with his catchy 999 economic plan to replace much of the federal tax code with a 9% business transaction tax a 9% personal income tax and a 9% sales tax. Critics called the plan dubious and impartial. Mitt Romney, the current Utah senator who would clinch the GOP nomination in 2012, tweeted Thursday that he was saddened to hear the Keynes passing. Keynes suspended that campaign in December 2011, following multiple allegations of sexual harassment ranging back to his time as chief executive of National Restaurant Association in the 1990s. Cain denied all the allegations. After his hospitalization, Cain's social media accounts occasionally provided vague updates on his condition. A message on July 5th said he was making progress and the more encouraging news was expected to come soon. Two days later, Cain's Twitter account said doctors are trying to make sure his oxygen levels are right. On July 10th, another tweet said Cain himself described his status as a cruise control because the progress is slow but his breathing is getting stronger every day. Make no mistake, he is improving. The most recent update came Monday when Kane's social media revealed that he was being treated with oxygen for his lungs nearly a month after entering the hospital. He really is getting better, which means it is working, the update said. Calabrese repeatedly declined CNBC's request for additional information on Kane's condition throughout his struggle with the virus. We are not saying anything else beyond what we've posted on social media, Calabrese said in a July 7th email that Herman's and Gloria's wish so, I appreciate you respecting it. In addition to his wife's Gloria, Edson, survivors include his two children, Melanie and Vincent, Calabrese said.